But some people have a lot of problems with the Demon of Hatred. This boss is uh, is particularly challenging for people that play Sekiro, and uh, if you want to beat it super, super easily, there is a cheese for this boss. And I will attempt to show it to you without dying, but uh, yeah, th this, should be, uh, this should be a very interesting thing. So Essentially, you're just going to, while he's mauling these guys, you're going to run directly over here, and he's going to charge over here to you in this corner. And as soon as he kind of gets into this corner, you're going to run... Ah! As soon as he gets into this corner, you're going to run out of the corner, as close to this side as you possibly can. And he should get stuck in that corner. So now that he's stuck in that corner, he's not going to come and fight you. He's just going to be over there in that corner for as long as uh, as long as you'll let him. And so this guard tower right here is the secret to beating him. So if you hop, if you run and hop onto this guard tower at just the right angle, holding uh, holding X, you can. Uh, you can grab up onto the ledge. So usually I try and do it from like an angle and you just want to make sure that you're holding X and then you kind of want to ju jump off the, the guard tower and get to that second level. You can see how you kind of like go up higher than you would normally go. Like... So you can't do it by just being right next to it. You have to, you have to get that running jump. And then you can pretty much just jump straight up. And then once you're up here, you want to go on like a diagonal line, but you want to make sure that you jump off the edge, like right as you're coming off of the edge of the platform. So there's like a moment where you are you are running that you um, that your feet are off of the platform and the game will let you continue to jump. See? And so if you get the if you get it just right, you can hop onto this little area up here. And once you're up here, this is sort of like an out of bounds area that you're not really supposed to. You can see he uh, unfortunately, I didn't get it to where you could actually see what happens. But once you get on this side of the of the building, he will jump off of this ledge down into this pit because he's going to try and make the closest angle to you that he possibly can. And he will just leap off the edge here to his death. And of course, if you have problems trying to set this up, you can do it over and over and over again. It's very easy um, to do with just a little bit of practice. You don't have to fight him. You don't have to learn game mechanics at all. Um, and once you get him locked over here in this little corner area, uh, you pretty much are free to try and do this as many times as you would like. So if you like this little tutorial here, please like, follow, subscribe, all the good things that YouTube likes. Um, if you uh, want to see more stuff like this, leave a comment with what you want me to uh, make for you, and I will certainly try my best. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace, my friends.